नमस्कार साथियों दिस प्रेस ब्रीफिंग हैज बीन कॉल्ड टू मेक अनाउंसमेंट ऑफ बाई इलेक्शन शेड्यूल अगेंस्ट द वैकेंसीज नाउ बिफोर आई डू डेट लेट मी शेयर विथ यू द वैकेंसी पोजिशन after the general elections which took place in 2000 december we have uh, as of now 170 vacancies it has two components normal vacancies due to death due to non availability of candidates during that election general elections due to rejection of nomination papers etc in some cases law and order situation now out of this 170s 130 gram panchayat vacancies and one jilla parishad vacancies are taken up for by elections that is spread over to 20 districts of Arunachal Pradesh elections to 40 gram panchayat constituencies and one jilla parishad constituency in Vijayanagar administrative sub division of Changlang district have been kept pending due to law and order and other administrative issues till now now let me tell you the break up the district wage vacancies tawang three gram panchayat constituencies west kamen six gram panchayat constituencies east kamen six gram panchayat constituencies Pake Kesang, five gram panchayat constituencies, Kurukume, five gram panchayat constituencies, and one jilla parishad. Karadadi, four gram panchayat constituencies, Lower Subansri, forty-one gram panchayat constituencies, Kamle, five gram panchayat constituencies, Upper Subansri, eleven gram panchayat constituencies. West Siang, seven gram panchayat constituencies. Upper Siang, five gram panchayat constituencies. Siang, one GPC. East Siang, seven GPCs. Lower Siang, one GPC. Lower Dibang Valley, nine GPCs. Anju, four GPCs. Namsai. Four GPCs, Changlang, two GPCs, Tirap, two GPCs, Longling, two GPCs. So all together, it is hundred thirty vacancies of gram panchayat constituencies and one jilla parishad. Now, the schedule of by election will be. as follows mm, date of announcement is today being 762022 yesterday date of issue of notification by state election commission as well as date of issue of public notice by returning officers 1462022 yesterday last date of filing nomination 2162022 tuesday date of scrutiny 2362022 thursday 127022 tuesday regarding preparedness of the by elections 
as a part of uh, preparatory state, we also had uh, a special summary revision of the electoral rolls of the are expected to abide by the MCC and uh, instructions of the commission. Any violation shall be dealt with under relevant provisions of RP Act, Representation of People's Act, 1951. Regarding COVID guideline, COVID protocol like face masks, sanitizer, and involved. There are more than 100 uh, election officials uh, are expected to be engaged for this by elections. This excludes uh, security personnel. The security assessment uh, will be done by the concerned district election officers, district magistrates, as per the prevailing situation and inputs given by the SPs of the concerned districts. We have also decided to deploy election observers. Uh, on the recommendation of the district election offices in the local level for the panchats and the uh, state as a whole, we have decided to have a special observer from outside the state, one of two uh, state election commissioner of the other states will be invited. The expenditure ceiling on um, by the candidates relating to election is two lakhs uh, only for the election candidate and uh, fifty thousand only for gram panchayat candidate each candidate. So expenditure register is to be maintained by each candidate and submitted to district election officer DEO within 30 days of declaration of results. This was uh, already notified under plenary powers of uh, the election commission under article 243k during general election last time. We have few uh, court cases say 11 Rampacha constituencies pending before uh, election tribunal and uh, Guwahati High Court. So therefore, uh, these constituencies have not been included in this wide election process. I would uh, finally appeal to all stakeholders, be it the voters, the candidates, or the political parties to extend their support and cooperation so that violation can be held in a free, fair and peaceful manner. Now, if you have any clarification further, any questions you can ask. Sir, uh, as you have mentioned that uh, there is one uh, vacancy in SCM region other. Yeah. So, it's like it's making it. It's already like a whole controversy where even as of now, so it's like it's a vacancy commission. Uh, that part uh, uh, actually uh, uh, there has been no election since the uh, general election uh, which took place in 2000 uh, December so the basic region was no order situation we go commission is mandated to merely conduct elections and the uh, issue of law and order is the subject of the state government and once uh, uh, the law and order situation is improved ah no law and order uh, without the uh, conducive atmosphere when there is a law and order commission can, cannot take decisions so we have stated that Vijayanagar is kept out of these elections 
which is very stated in the press now. So I have one question. I need some breakups. First, uh, seats. how many SP and how many CP seats? Uh, 8,145. In Jilla Parishad, uh, it's uh, 242 that you know. And Gram Panchayat, this is Gram Panchayat. In one Gram Panchayat, there are Gram Panchayat constituencies, members, you know, which I told you 8,145. And you are talking about uh, um, total electors. Yeah. What is the issue? Uh, so, this and Kurul uh, these two districts, especially of interest to us, uh, they, we, we have contacted the district headquarters. They are awaiting the report from Tadi. So it is a little time. Once that comes, we can get the. Give us some approximate figure. Approximate figure. Not exactly. It will be seven thousand. Total electorate in the state, I can share you, it is seven lakh sixty-five thousand five. That's the total. So, adding to this question, the voting code of conduct will be applied to the place, those places where election will happen, or it will be accordingly confined to the constituencies where the elections are going to take place. We are not going to affect the development of the entire state. So, only this pockets, those gram panchayat constituencies where the elections are going to be held. If it's a gram panchayat election, it will be the gram panchayat constituency. If it's a zilla, we only have one. Zilla constituency where elections are going to be held, and that's in lower Kolkata. So that Zilla segment will be affected. Otherwise, the rest of the district is free to go ahead with the development activities. Sir, after this is already done. That was, the during the election of women was already done way back in 2020. So instead of waiting further, sir has decided that we should do the process. Entire details, sir, already they're having copies, will be circulated to all of you. Uh, segment wise details, you know, of this to provide them. We've got enough copies for all of you.